just tell her I love her and I want to see her. Okay, well, yeah, maybe we can set that up seen for her you. so long. <laughs> what a lady. And what do you think about this film being remastered? So, all the generation can enjoy it. It's just, it's not possible. I keep looking back at, like, next year is the 50th anniversary of the Dick Van Dyke show. Then it's the 50th anniversary of Mary Poppins. And I think this is the 42nd. I can't believe it. You know, this is, it, it's wonderful to be on your third gen. I have little kids that come up, you know, call me Bert. Well, that makes me laugh. So everything you've done is such longevity as well. Isn't that amazing? Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? You could just keep going forever and ever and ever. I plan to. <laughs> <laughs> then we're opening at the Geffen Theater here. I have a little quartet, three young guys in me. We're going to play the Geffen Theater for a month in December, singing songs and a little dancing. If you ever come to London, will you come and see us? We sure will. Leicester Square, Global Radio, LBC, will you come and put the Absolutely. We'll, we'll make it to one of these days. <laughs> We'd love to see you. Thank you. Oh, Julie, what you know where she stands. Well, she was, uh, no, she wasn't staying at the hotel. I think she's gone home. She's got oh, a place oh here. I see. She lives in Switzerland, also. She's got a place in Switzerland. She's got a place yeah. here as well. How's her husband? Is he? Is I'm going to take him back real quick, quick and then we'll come back this way. She, I know, she looks amazing. Does she? Oh, she, oh, unbelievable. Oh, she'll never change. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, we're going to actually go back right here to. Um, seen it in a while. I want to see it in Blu-ray. <laughs> what do you think about the new uh, 3D phenomenon that's coming now? Have you been experiencing that? I'm into it. I do, I'm a computer animator. That's my hobby. <laughs> so I'm way into the 3D stuff. I was at the computer convention downtown. They have a way now of taking old 2D movies and making them 3D, which I thought would look cheap. It's unbelievable. Would you like to see this one? I'd, wouldn't this be great in 3D Absolutely. with a car coming... Do you, Can't wait. do you think Chitty Chitty Banger was unfairly uh, compared in history with Mary Poppins? Everybody knows Mary Poppins, but not everybody knows Chitty Chitty Banger. What do you think about that? I just see to me most of the kids I see know both movies. Yeah. If any if any kid hasn't seen Chitty Bang Bang, I drag him in and show it to him. <laughs> uh, any, anything about the filming that never came out? Any anecdotes or what, what's the best thing you remember about it? Well, the whole for, thing for, for history. For, I think Mary Poppins took four months to shoot and Chitty took over a year, primarily because of weather, the English weather. <laughs> there are some scenes, and i got to tell the audience that when we're driving the car, supposedly through the English countryside, we're driving through the vineyards in the south of France, <laughs> and it's supposed to be England, but if you look closely, you realize this is in England. <laughs> What do you think about the movies that are being made now? I mean, uh, we having a uh, strong legacy again, like reusing what Disney used to do in the, in the 60s. I don't 70s. know. You know. Ever since Walt died, it's uh, never been the same to me. You know, he had the second book, Mary Poppins Comes Back, and Walt was going to do it. And of course, when he passed away, that idea kind of faded. They don't make those good musicals anymore. 
what, 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 what do we lack? I think they're lacking the Sherman Brothers, <laughs> who, who just wrote the most enchanting songs of anybody ever. Or a guy like you, huh? you're kind of acting in your innocence, we don't see that anymore. <laughs> well, yeah, they've kind of gone over the line a little bit, I think. I went to see, I love 3D, so I'm always, I went to see a Saturday afternoon movie, some Halloween, very gory movie. I'm sitting in a theater full of children, right in the middle of it, in 3D, full front row as a porno scene. I couldn't believe it. I went outside and I, there were some parents sitting in the lobby. I said, do you know what your kids are seeing in there? They drop them off. I couldn't believe it on a Saturday afternoon. So things have gotten, a, I'm afraid, a little out of hand. Out of hand. So, so what do you do these days to stay active? What's your normal, normal day schedule? What do you do in a normal day, a normal weekend? Well, I have a quartet. Uh, and we sing benefits all over town. We are the City of Hope and all, any kind of fundraiser we sing at. And that's mostly what I'm doing now. So you happy about what you've done in your life, in your career? Oh, it's my retirement. All my friends are playing golf. <laughs> I said, I'll take up golf when I get old. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Pleasure. Is that the Fantastics? Hi. Um, what's it like being so awesome. What? What's it like being so many great movies that like everybody knows about? Uh, well, people keep saying I enjoy your work. And I, work? It was never work. It was always play. And it still is. Any advice for a young uh, aspiring? Uh, aspiring what? Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Can you dance? Aspiring. Uh, not really. Well, you better get He's started. He's an actor. He's an actor. Now's the time to start. <laughs> Thank you. Take some tap. Tap's coming back. I'm telling you. Thank you, Scott Hedrick. Okay. Scott Hedrick, how are you? Hi. We gave you an award a few years ago at the DVD Awards, and you came up and said, oh, I thought these were for me, the DVD, my initials. <laughs> That's right, DVD. Yeah, yeah. That's right. I thought the whole thing was in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, you, talking about you're in the 3D, I, the Caretaker that you just made this year, the short oh, film. Oh, you that I saw that. Jack Beautiful. Jack that was great. So, so cute. Very clever. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize it had been showing at some film festivals. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was good 3D because it doesn't well, pop out at you. Right. But it does right. take you into the... How did that project come about? Um, they just called me and asked me to do it. Really? I, I just went and did it because it sounded interesting. And you're, and you're into 3D anyway? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, very big. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so this thing's back on Blu-ray. What's the um, what's the appeal, the, the enduring appeal of this movie, do you think? Yeah. The Sherman no, The music. Okay. I think far and away the music. And we had the same choreographers from Mary Poppins. It just had a whole crew. Okay. And it just, uh, there was a great atmosphere among all of us. We just had a good time right. and knew we were doing something special and just gave it everything we had. And, there, you know, it's amazing there was never any, you know, this is Ian Fleming and it was Cubby Broccoli and they never did another kind of children family thing. No, like isn't that funny? Well, you know, it wasn't well received uh, oh, really? by the critics. They didn't like it at all. Okay. But they didn't know kids. Right, right. And what, <laughs> they, what is they didn't it? Know with, what kids like? The British seem to have the market on family, you know, films. Even now with Harry Potter and everything, you know, back then That's it was right. Mary Poppins and Shig Shig Bang Bang. But I went to see uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That should have been. I should have been Willy Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be Willy Wonka. <laughs> and you're a big fan of Blu-ray, you say? Yeah, yeah. I have the. I bought. The Samsung uh, 3D screen. Yeah, I, the whole thing, I've got the glasses. There's two movies. I thought by now Avatar and all those would be out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so I'm, I'm ready whenever they come. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. I have to tell you, uh, I went down to a fundraiser for the Midnight Mission downtown. Tony Hopkins and I did a little PSA. Oh, okay. And the way we worked it out, I said, Hello, I'm Dick Van Dark. And he said, Dick. Please, no cockney. <laughs> <laughs> can, can I get it? I never asked for autographs. Can I get you to autograph this little... Uh, oh, my God, you got the car. I got the car here. Wow. Uh, get you a Sharpie, fine point pen, maybe just across there. It might be a little hard to write on. Yeah, it's going to be. Just whatever you can you can do there. I have a Sharpie. This is a Sharpie, but oh, it's, thicker, it's tough. Thicker. I'm getting it, not very well. You know, six years ago, the guy who bought the car brought it over. Thank you. Here, and we did a little thing. And it had a, a little four-cylinder Ford engine in it. That's what I heard. He put something like 250 horsepower in it. Oh, it my is God. so super. <laughs> it's dangerous. Really? <laughs> wow.
Yeah, it's like one of those B-12 Jaguars or something. <laughs> well, this thing ain't too maneuverable. Oh. Like a oh, wow. That's great. Thank you very much. My name is Jeff Peters. Hi, Jeff. I'm one, of the, uh, I'm one of the Peters from Danville, Illinois. You're kidding. I kid you not. Well, my well, uncle. Jim, Jim Peters. Jim is my dad. Was my dad. No kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew him. I know. I'm one of the last Peters to, to meet you, and I've been an actor and writer and oh, is that animator right? and... He did some acting in high school. Uh, Nade, my Uncle Nade. Nade tells, was the one. We did a play together. He tells a story that you got the... Uh, you got the, that you both auditioned and you got the lead role. Uh, I, had the, I was, had the loudest voice. Right. <laughs> and he said that if he had gotten the role, that he would have the career that you had today. Well, he had the better role, though. Did he? He had a really emotional, dramatic role. Oh, okay. I was just the lead, you know. Yeah, yeah. He was good, too. He, yeah. He could have yeah. done it. Well, uh, they all say hello. Everybody well, says hi. And uh, I've been wanting to meet you for, yeah. I don't know, 45 yeah. years. So. Well, you never lived in Danville, though. I didn't, no. Yeah. Uh, the, I was, by, my dad was teaching it here in uh, in California, and oh, I was I born see. in Encino and then grew up on the East Coast. I only have so. about one buddy left in Danville, Bob Hackman, who was Gene Hackman's right, right. uncle. Yeah. The only one, yeah. Yeah? All my buddies are gone. <laughs> well, my uncles, are, my Uncle Nate and my Uncle Bud are still around, and they, they, they both well, remember you. And my best. They remember taking... Uh, in Greenup, do you remember Greenup? That's where my family comes from. Yeah. So in Greenup, that they tell the story of going out to the creek, and you and them and my grandpa Doc and Cookie would all take uh, baths in the creek. Yeah, we go skinny because, dip. Yeah, but ivory soap had just been invented, and the, it floated. It flo <laughs> 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 and so, you didn't lose it in the creek. Yeah, my dad. Everybody called my dad Cookie. Right. He was a cookie salesman. Is that right? Oh, Somebody I didn't realize that's where it came James from. James Wood. Yeah, yeah. Somebody told me that he was from Greenham. Really? I've, always, I've never had a chance to ask him. That, wow. But Jerry and I have our pictures all over town. Oh, I know. I've, I've, I've visited both yeah, Greenham and Danville, Danville many times. <laughs> It's a pleasure to a meet pleasure you. pleasure to meet you. Well, say hi to Nate, will you? I will. Thank you. <laughs> All right, fine.